What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Denise Salcedo, and I'm excited because today we have not one, but two guests. We're going to kick it off, though, first with Impact Wrestling's very own Buriqua Badass, Tasha Steeles, and then we'll be joined later on by Kara Hogan. So, Tasha, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. You know, the Impact Women's Division has been straight fire. I mean, what has it been like for you to not only be part of such a strong division, vision but to also be teaming with Kira I mean you know it's it's great because I came in to the knockouts division with, with all the flavor so um <laughs> you know I brought the flavor to the knockouts division everybody's different everybody it's so diverse and uh everybody's different in there so you have like different people with different styles and and you know once they join together it's, it's unbelievable it's unbelievable magic that you see but you know I'm the one that brings the the flavor you know the badass always brings the flavor and uh <laughs> tagging with Kiara is you know it's it's amazing because uh you know her and I were were friends for for a while and um you know we didn't know how this was gonna turn out and the minute that they just saw us together we just have that natural chemistry so they were like you know you guys go ahead do your thing and ever since then it's just been like you know we can't not not put you guys together so it, it was just it was just natural it was just a natural put together so obviously you said that it was a natural fit it seems like you guys are getting along just fine but what was your initial reaction to like okay this is happening we're gonna be working together um did you guys hit it off quickly what were some of the ideas that you guys bounced around i mean you know uh going into coming into impact you know as as the you know newest girl and uh i had to always just still watch myself because it's like you know you you think you have friends but you really don't have friends mm -hmm. but uh once i once i saw kiera and i knew like all right you know maybe i can kind of relax a little bit with her it was just it was just like a breath of fresh air because it was just like all right well i know what I'm going for and all these other girls are going for the same thing and so is Kiera you know that's her main goal to be you know knockouts champion so uh we have like the same same mindset and you know we determined to be the best you know since uh we're the two women there that are uh you know African-American and Latina um you know background so we definitely gotta dominate we gotta you know you know stay at the top you know and show these girls like how we are we could be small but we kick a lot of ass Exactly. Hey, don't disregard size. All right. If you're small, <laughs> don't matter because you can go out there and kill it just the way you guys do it in each and every single time. And you mentioned being one of the new faces to the knockouts division. What did it mean to you to sign you sign this deal with Impact Wrestling? Um, it, it felt good, but I just felt like, you know, um, like the job hasn't completely been finished yet. You know, like I've I've kind of started the race signing with impact but i still am in this race i'm still in this marathon and um you know i still have goals and and achievements to to grab onto so uh the work isn't done yet you know this is just the beginning so i'm still i'm still working hard here and uh it, it just feels really good there's a lot of history in the impact women's division so um i'm pretty thankful and i'm glad and I was happy to uh, be able to sign during one of the worst times, and that's during COVID, where yeah. nobody thinks they were gonna have a job, and um, it just it feels good. So I'm gonna keep keep going on with this marathon, this race, and I'm gonna just keep pushing. Other pieces are definitely put falling into place here. I feel mm -hmm. with you know coming on to impact and whatnot. But here's the thing: you weren't the only one. Like there are so many new faces that are part of the impact roster now. What are some of your thoughts on some of the new people that have come along? Um, you know, with, uh, I've, I've worked with these women outside of impact, you know, with, uh, Kimberly and, and Nevea and Kylie Ray, and, uh, of course, Deanna Perrazzo. Deanna is one of my very closest friends and, and, and training partners. Um, so I've worked with all these women outside of impact and it's just like, I guess it's like, it's just one big reunion once we see each other again and we're able to see each other, um, at the same place, the same time, all the time. So it's like, um. <laughs> A lot of a lot of headbutting, but it's good headbutting because you know we we all have the same goal in mind, and um, you know we'll we'll do whatever it takes to get there. And, you know, and I like that the idea of teamwork because yeah, I get it. You all want to you know become your own shining star, but at the same time, by you know working together and putting on these great matches, you're not only building yourself up, but you're building up the division. Hence, building yourself up at the exact same time, which is I think pretty cool. So, with that being said, right now all eyes are on women's wrestling. It's been a heavier discussed 
topic amongst wrestling fans. Uh, what is what is something that you feel you need to do, or you or some of the other women on the roster, just to sort of keep that evolution of women's wrestling to continue getting stronger and bigger? Um, you know, to me, I always anybody that asks me something like that, um, I love leaving first and last impression. You know, I love to show people who I am when I go through the curtain. And I love to show people how I am once I finish whatever I'm doing. It's a match, it's a tag match, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, I like to leave first and last impressions. Um, the moves in between, I mean, we can all do it. You know, we've, we've shown how we can do it and we can do it 10 times better than the guys half the time, you know. Um, but uh, it's just... It's just how we stay strong at the end, and um, a lot of us have been showing that lately. And we just been we've been kicking ass since then. It's it's, it's just amazing feeling, and and I love it. You know, women's wrestling has been just at its all time high now nowadays, and um, I feel great to be a part of it. I love it. Exactly. And, you know, you mentioned the stuff like, oh, we can all do the moves, but it's the stuff in between all of that. You know, obviously not working in front of a crowd, you don't necessarily get that instant reaction. What has it been like, you know, for you as a talent to work in front of, you know, not an audience? Um, I, I feel like I'm, I'm in training and I'm just, you know, practicing because um, uh, at training, that's what we do. You know, we practice, you know, promos, we practice work in front of the camera. You know, we practice just working matches, um, calling matches on the fly. We, we do all that in training. So I guess this is, to me, I, I feel in a natural habitat because I don't, during something like this, I don't really break because it's like, all right, I just feel like I'm in training. There's nobody around. There's nobody around in training, but you're, everybody else you're training with. So it's just like, all right, well, I'm just doing, you know, like a practice, but it's the real thing at the same time. So um, I, I, I don't. I don't either way like I love the crowd like I, I I love being in front of my audience but at the same time like this is like the best time for everybody to now to help develop their, their their personality and their character and work the camera 10 times harder for everybody who's at home besides everyone who's like in the studio or in the arena at the time so um you know to me I, I could do it so I've been doing it and and it doesn't really phase me too much. Yeah, I like the mentality and the outlook that you have on it because for so many people, it can be something that they dwell on. Like, oh, there's no people. How am mm -hmm. I going to do this? But <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, like, if you think about it like the way that you're thinking about it, it's a really good uh, you know, method to sort of just keep moving forward and do work with what you've got. So now I also do want to ask you, you know, you've been teaming with Kara, as we mentioned. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want Impact to bring back the Knockouts Tag Team titles? Oh, absolutely. They they should not only bring it back, but they should just already hand it to Kiera and Tasha Steele. Like, there's, there's no, everybody says that Kiera and Tasha should be the Knockouts Tag Champions. And I feel like that we definitely should because we've been showing out and showing off every single week, Tuesday nights at Impact on Access TV at 8 p.m. and on Twitch. And we are the content people love to see. Everybody tunes in just to see Tasha Steeles and Kara Hogan, what we're going to do, what we're going to say, how we're going to act. So, um, you know, not putting the titles on us will just be, you know, a big problem. You know, I don't want no problem, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I think, yeah, well, you sold me completely on that. Let's bring back the titles. Let's get them on, you guys, and, you know, move on from there. And now, before we continue, we are officially being joined by the hottest flame, Kira Hogan. Kira, let's just go ahead and kick it off. You know, right now, Impact Women's Wrestling roster has been absolutely phenomenal. What does it mean for you to be part of this roster and to be teaming up with Tasha? Um, just to be a part of the roster is everything to me. Um, I've said it before, since I was 14, the knockouts have been the baddest in the in the business since the beginning. Um, they've paved ways before anybody else, I believe, and the knockouts is the knockouts division is where where the flavor and the creativity and the fire is at. Like everybody's there. Our division is diverse and amazing. And teaming with Tasha brings even more flavor to not only the division, but it helps me as well. Like putting us together has been amazing, and just working with her has been awesome. And we've just been bringing it every week. Every single time you see us on TV, we bring it. Exactly. And Tasha mentioned earlier that you guys get along perfectly fine. Did you guys really hit it off right away? 
<laughs> no, we really did. Like when we when we met on the indies, we literally hit it off absolutely right away. And from then on, like we every time we um were like on the indies together, we would hang out and then of course we wanted to wrestle each other. And the first time we got to wrestle each other was in a street fight. <laughs> <laughs> How was oh, that? Man. How did that go? Oh, oh man. Oh man, it was so much fun. Like every like we we hyped it up. Like we made sure like everybody oh, yeah. was gonna wanna see it. We hyped it up on Twitter. We went all around the building during the whole match. Like our match was the like it was the best on the card. Like we, oh, yeah. we did that that night. I believe like after that it was it was meant to be. And I felt even after having that match, I told Tasha, I was like, I really wanna pitch this storyline to um impact and I really want you to, you know, be a part. So let me know. I'm. I, I know you can do it. I want you to be a part. You're definitely somebody I want to be a part of this movement. And you know, here she is. Here we exactly. are. Exactly. <laughs> and you guys have been killing it. Honestly, uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the lightning round game. So basically, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna ask you ten questions, and you're just gonna answer them as fast as you can. So uh, let's just go ahead and get right into it. It is now time for the lightning round game with Tasha Steeles and Kira Hogan. Question number one, what was your favorite subject in school? English. Science. Oh, totally different from Tasha's answer. <laughs> I was I a writer. I, like, I used to write and I was very creative. I used to write my own like storylines for wrestling when I was a kid. So I was super creative in my head. So definitely English. Yeah. Question number two, you're at the grocery store about to check out. What's the last minute candy that you add to your groceries? Um, Snickers. Probably uh, sour gummy worms. Those oh my god, favorite. you guys are so different. <laughs> <laughs> I said Snickers because I get. Of angry. course you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, question number three: Where was the location of your first date? I think it was. I think it was a movie. Yes, it was. It was actually a movie, and uh, we had pizza afterwards. I guess it would be like at a club in downtown Atlanta. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> uh, question number four. If you were given a million dollars today, how would you spend it? Um, I would definitely take care of my family first. And um, I'm buying myself a lot of acres. Oh, man. I would get a house. Uh, I would get a dog. <laughs> I would pay off my mom's house. Um, and I would pay off my car. I feel like the dog would be living just a very fancy life, you know, with a million I mean, dollars. Oh yeah. I just want a little baby. That's all I want. I just want a baby. <laughs> Question number five. If you could swap lives with any celebrity, who would it be? Uh, Cardi B, because I love her energy. Uh, maybe Lady Gaga. Oh. Yeah. So Lady I Gaga. feel, because Tasha, your answer was Cardi B. So I can, Cardi B, I Lady Gaga, the lab. <laughs> Oh my God, I knew it, I knew it. There you no, go. <laughs> That's gonna be like the dream, there you go. Uh, question number six, out of the both of you, who's the pickiest eater? Uh, I'm gonna say Kiera. Ah, yeah, I got that right. <laughs> me, all the way, all the way. I know for a fact it's me. Tasha will literally smash any and everything. Any and everything. If that girl is hungry, she will eat it. Like. Me, I'm like, no, I, I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> Question number seven. If you can make a rule for a day and everyone had to follow it, what would it be? It would be, it's either my way or you get your ass kicked. Oh, okay. Everybody put your phones down for the whole day. Stay off social media. Don't get on social media. Don't pick up your phone. If you want to go see somebody, go drive to their house. Like, no phones. No phones. Oh, Question number eight. If you were the most extreme thrill seeker, what's the craziest thing you would like to try? Skydiving. Uh, skydiving. But I have a fear of hey. heights, so it probably wouldn't happen. I said the same thing. <laughs> now you guys have to do it. That's it. No oh. as ifs or buts. <laughs> no. I'm so I'm terrified. I'm, yeah, I'm closing my eyes. I'm not. The whole time, wanna... yeah. No, I can't Hold my hand. <laughs> uh, oh my question, question number nine, pizza or hamburgers? Uh, pizza. Oh my God, I'm from Jersey. Pizza, I better say pizza. <laughs> better are you, pizza. People are going to be pissed at you if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> and last question, question number 10. If you could describe Tasha in one to three words, what would it be? Uh, petty. Oh. Uh, sassy. Sabor. 
flavor. If you could describe Kara Hogan in one to three words, what would it be? Oh man, she's the hottest flame. She's got great attitude and she's very sexy. Um, guys, you were both absolutely incredible. I want to thank both of you, Tasha and Kara, thank for you. coming on today and doing this fun interview with me. Uh, before we go, go ahead and you guys can both go ahead and plug in your social medias or anything you guys want to plug in. Uh, first of all, we're going to plug the petition for us to be the Knockout Tag Champions yep. because yep. obviously we are we're going to be the title holders first and foremost. So we're just going to go ahead and plug that. The longest, mm -hmm. nobody's going to take it from us, period, like point nope. blank. Um, okay. And then you can follow me on my social media, Instagram at Hogan Knows Best 18. And you can follow me on Twitter, Hogan Knows Best 3. You can follow me at Real T Steals on Instagram and Twitter. And, uh, you know, get that position, petition going that we're going to be the hottest, and the baddest and the longest reigning knockout tag champions ever. Period. That's on, what? That's on period. Oh, period. period. Well said. Thank you both so much. Guys, do not forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel for more interviews like this one. And until we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.